people have talked about government policy, so I want to say what that government policy is. This is the NIH public access policy. It doesn't say open access, it says public access. And that's because it's not immediate open access. It is law, by the way. There was a, it's a statutory requirement since 2008, and NIH has progressively put this into effect. The law states that um, NIH shall require that all investigators funded by NIH submit or have submitted for them to the National Library of Medicine's PubMed Central an electronic version of their final peer-reviewed manuscript upon acceptance for publication to be made publicly available no later than 12 months after. So it allows a 12-month waiting period. Uh, that's law. And you can, you can read about this here at that website. Um, now, that, now that is NIH policy. Uh, but it has been honored in the breach, and so NIH has felt compelled to uh, focus more on mechanisms of compliance and picking up on that point. So this past year, uh, NIH decided to tighten compliance, and with a start date of July 1, this year, 2013, non-competing continuation grant awards will not be funded unless they demonstrate that they have complied with this act, meaning they must demonstrate that they have deposited a paper in PubMed Central if it was um, uh, published with uh, support from NIH. Now, this is NIH. What about other agencies of government? Other agencies of government don't follow this. So a number of people, including myself, petitioned the Obama administration via mechanism if you don't know about it, I, I urge you to, to learn about it. It's called We the People. Go to whitehouse.gov. Any citizen of the U.S. can start a petition. And if it gets enough votes, then uh, a response from the administration is required. Uh, so the threshold last year when this petition was put forward was 25,000 signatures. Now the threshold is 100,000. There have been too many petitions that have passed the 25,000 signature threshold. This particular petition uh, received 65,000 signatures, and so the administration had to respond. And uh, the Office of Science and Technology Policy was delegated to respond to the petition. Just, they don't have to agree with your petition. They just have to respond and say something. So they responded, and the response is here. Uh, came uh, February of this year. And as a result of that response, the director of OSDP, John Holdren, who is also the advisor to the president, he wrote a memo to all federal agencies. So it's now not just NIH, but NSF, DOA, DOE, EPA, NASA, all of them, that they had that this, I won't go into all the details of it, but the policy mandates open access for all federally supported research after a 12-month post-publication embargo period. Now, the exact details of how that's done is under discussion. Um, they may not have to submit a paper to uh, PubMed Central. They may be able to allow archiving in some, in, um, in some separate archive, but it has to be available to the public.